Hey guys, my name is Sidiac, and welcome back to another episode of Canal Town here in City Skylines. Well, last episode, guys, we built our little double kind of dock area, double cargo area, which is now exporting the goods. No longer our vehicles have to travel huge distances or trains travel huge distances. Now we're making ships travel huge distances. But it's really helped us out. We got two set up because we're going to have them going in different kind of directions and locations. Uh, which is what I want to try and work on today. I want to try and finally extend and expand the last little bit of the highway. Uh, which is then going to enable us to take the right side cargo harbour train line in the same direction as that highway. And be able to import and export a whole lot easier. And then... We can transport the goods and Canal Town will be big and beautiful. So if you do enjoy this episode or want to see more of this series for it to continue, then make sure you smash that like button down below if you are new it here. Make sure you do subscribe so you get notified when that next episode does come out. But boom, we are back, boys. And this is what we got done. So the whole idea of this behind it was uh, that we got two. Uh, at the minute, they join just here, but... The one on the left is going to remain on this line coming up, Trumpeton, and it mainly serves this side of the city. Uh, the one on the right is going to kind of continue with it, and then wherever we get this highway here to connect to this highway, we'll make it do a right turn to go all the way down here, which will be what comes through and then connects here as a trumpet. And then, when the line goes through there, we'll have a line that kind of comes this way to this way to just kind of connect them just here. Now we have two uh, kind of um, harbours, uh, so to speak, which can get to any side of the city with ease. Because if you're on, on here right now, you've got to go all the way around, all the way up, down here, down here, and it's kind of long-winded just to get down to here. But to be able to do all that anyway, I've got to hook this highway up, thus creating more connectivity. Because at the same time, if vehicles are coming up this way, They've got to drive all the way down here and they go through here to get to this area. We're going to give them that sweet little shortcut. Also, it'll then open up this area as well to work with. So, I've already kind of figured out how I'm going to slightly do it. Okay. We're going to bring it up here. We're going to make it cross on this plane. Because that's the kind of the shortest distance to cross right now. And then we're going to turn it into a nice sweet little trumpet here. Now, we do have the train line kind of in its way. So, we have to kind of elevate quite high over it. But the slip roads that join this side on our off ramps to there, they can go under the current um, kind of train line as well. So we'll have some ups and overs, uh, Pepsi Colas, when it comes to creating uh, this trumpet right now. Now, I've been thinking for quite some time as well. I didn't make this highway system. It was what was in the map. But the lane map is completely out. Three lanes coming on. What's going on here, boys? Now, I don't know if... I mean, I can't. I mean, if you're basing it off this here right now, it has to stay to a three lane, but that, that should then go to a two and then back into a three. So it would remain a three, but we're going to be trumpeting it right now, which ideally you want to trump it as a two, not a three into a three. It's kind of weird, but you, you got to get the gist of it. So unfortunately, the trumpets are going to be a little bit bigger than usual. Okay. The lane map is completely off with this one, but it is. What it is. Okay, guys, it is what it is. <laughs> so what I'm going to do then is we'll bring up our highways. Now, normally I use like a national road and kind of connect it over, but I got that trumpet issue. Do I stick? Do you know what? No, I'm just going to ignore it. Okay, if don't come at me in the comment section. It is what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> but how high? Oh, that train line is uh, quite high there, isn't it? So if I bring it up to about a... Let's go. We're going to have to go for a 30 on this. So it's going to be quite a dramatic drop. But we'll be all over it. It will be no issues. And we're going to start... Because I need to make sure i got the slip road in, in underway too. So if I start here, which is a 10 away. Right. And I bring it to there, which is a 10 away on that side. So and I key that in. That is our Chris. Oh, that should have been a national road. What's going on? Well, a two-lane highway, not a national road. Uh, two-lane highway. That's how it should have gone and connected in. And then we not, kind of need to kind of slightly turn it to make it go parallel down to this side. So, what we're going to do here is... Do I bring it out by another 10? and make? Oh no, I feel like I need to make the turn quite, quite quickly. But let me just get down to here first. So... We'll do, actually, we'll do a five there. And then we'll do a five there. 
five there. These two need to be normal slip roads. Don't get it twisted, so the egg. There we go. And then the bend procession will then begin. So we'll continue the uh, the national... I keep calling them national roads. I'm just going to continue to call them national roads. It is what it is. So if I had this run to here... And we'll go by a... Okay, I don't want it to be a bridge. As cool as that would seem. Not just yet. If I get that to run like that... So how is that looking? Straight... Oh, okay. It's not... Okay, I should have paid attention to where we were running with that. But I kind of need it to go... More this way, but we can... You know what? No, we're going to have to... We're actually going to have to make it go like that. So, unfortunately, it is what it is. Right, we'll go to a 20 just there. And then we'll utilize this as our bend. So, from here, we're 13 away. From there, we're 24 away. So, if I do it in 11, that means then we should be 13 away. So, I can do a 13 by 13 bend. Right, we do have to bring these all down to a certain level as well. And then kind of raise these up slightly. So, these little slip roads, I can actually bring these out now. Um, by another five. Another five there. So we've got our little 10 by 10s. And we need to run these all together. So those little slip road there. They're going to be running for quite some time until they all connect up. So it is an elevation of 30 at the minute. And we'll kind of keep it to that. If this game will allow me to build what I'm trying to build. There we go. And then we'll merge it all in there. But I just need to then use the connection tool to get these all up and running. So if I just elevate there and elevate there. So was that a six as well? That wasn't... Wait. Yeah, an eight. For a second I was thinking, well, what is going on? Right there and there. And then we use the connection tool to bring them all together. So it's quite an elaborate kind of trumpet in many ways. It's one that I don't normally create like this. But there's a lot of connections in this area. And they're all very elaborate. So you might as well go with it. There we go. But that's got to be that. Oh, excuse me. All right, little connection there. And then we'll just quickly get these all up and running. So don't worry about the elevation just yet. It's something that we can change and something that we will change. There we go. Beautiful. <laughs> this is going to be so good. This is going to be so good. Oh, I'm already kind of excited. So, right, let's get all this now facing the right way round. Okay. So, we're leading into that way. So, that's got to be flipped. That's all good. That's got to be flipped. Okay, that's pretty much all good. So, now we're going to go for our little bend here. So, I'll go for a six... I can be on the ground now, normal. Six by six. Six by six. Now, how far would I want to run this? So, if I do another six. Another six. And then we'll do a ten. And a ten. Oh, that kind of fit in perfect there. Nice. So, the slips are now in, in order. Uh, we'll try and elevate where we can. So what do you reckon? We elevate from this section here. Or do you reckon that's currently a bit too close? Nah, we'll be okay. <laughs> we'll be okay. Uh, so once we got that in, remember we are leading it in to a free lane highway system. Which is kind of crazy. It is kind of crazy that I'm kind of doing it like that. Yeah. So, I don't know whether to kind of stick to this slightly running across differently. Because I could also get that to run as this style. But at the same time, having that highway is also a good idea. So, let me just bring it down to a 20. I mean, to be honest with you, a 10 is... is ideally what we need but we're gonna have ferry ships coming uh, not ferry ships shipping ships coming through so maybe a 20 is probably the best 
bet for just a minute. So, right, if I just kind of go across like that, and like that here, is that enough to... No, I'm not going to be able to do what I want. I'm trying to accomplish just at the minute. Oh, if I do that there, delete you. Because I can parallel this anyway. It's not an issue. Uh, highway. I'm trying to get it more aligned there. So if I just come out by a 5... That is about right, I want to say. Now, to go... Well, firstly, to go across a place like that, that is quite long and wide. But I kind of completely missed the boat, don't I? No pun intended. Well, there's no pun there anyway. So, delete you back. I'm actually going to cancel all that. And we'll go... We'll go from like, if I do the one, and then the other one can kind of match it. So we'll go across to about there. All right, do it in a way where we can utilize the bridges. And then go across to there. And then all we need to do is make these connect into that. That's pretty much all we've got to do at this point. And then we can do some magic here to kind of bow this a little bit more to kind of bring it over into that area. But that's quite a dramatic quite entrance, isn't it? I like it. I really do like it. So this is the only downside is the fact that it's three lanes, but that's pretty much how it all has been. So it's kind it is annoying. But the whole city's built like this, and it's quite difficult to kind of come away from it once it's all built like it. I should have changed it from the get-go, but hey-ho, here we are right now. So, yeah, now this is the difficult bit, is trying to get all this now kind of connected and added in. So if I actually get rid of that. So if I then... So at some point we're going to hit a bend, don't we? We have to hit some type of a bend. So I bring that there. And bring that just there but they're not perfectly spaced so what we do oh the lag is move these over just a tad by one there to create a little bit of a gap and then we're hoping actually if i go down by one more there bam hoping that's the gap there yeah and then which one needs to be flipped? Oh no, oh no, they're both okay. So if I use the connection tool to go from here to here. And then go as much as we can. As much as we can just there. Leads in quite nice. And then we have to do some magic. The magic is quite dramatic. But hey ho. So we'll yeah, we'll do this style. Get rid of you. So bam, 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 bam. Like I said, it's very dramatic. But just roll with it, okay? Roll with it. <laughs> roll with it, boys. Roll with it. Uh so now he's gotta sort out all these alignments. So let's bring this up. And we'll pick you to then go down to there. So we should see a nice elevation change right now. Which is so much better than the other one. So from you down to you. There we go. Now this one's going to be the fun one. So if I go into there and then bring it to there. Because we need to have it going over the train track. That dramatically changes as well. 
And that should be all she wrote. Now, I know it's very interesting, is the best way to put this. But you understand it, right? I mean, I could two lane it, but then at this point, it's going to get free laned and it's just really awkward, okay? J just accept it. Just freaking accept it at this point. <laughs> <laughs> So, with that said, we're going to bring this out. I feel like I want to go for something quite different. So, if I bring it out by 50, that is quite a long run. And I, I just want to create something a bit different. 10 by 10. So, rather than you know a trumpet, it's more of a trombone. Oh, Sadiac. You disgust me. <laughs> and then bring this down to zero. Where we need to now figure out the bends. So sticking to the ground, we have this here. So if I run up by a five, down by a five, which these like, technically got to be flipped. And then we'll bring them in. So here, we'll do a six by six. We'll do a six by six. Flip it round. And then we'll go shabam, shabam. With a little bit of magic. And that's how it splits to go in. It's just something a little bit different. I, I, I just want to, you know... Go for more of the funsies rather than just the, the simple stuff we normally create. A 10 by 10. Now, obviously, we can do lane math here because we've created a trumpet. So if I upgrade you and then upgrade you. So I add this lane math real quick. So it works here, not so well in the other places. So it is what it is at the end of the day. Can't change it now. Uh, well, I can, but I'm too lazy to. Uh, <laughs> so now we're going to connect all this up to over here. So I'm going to delete this. Um, right, I might just bring this in and then I might just naturally bring it in and turn it. Probably what we'll do. Oh, hang on. The elevation change on this. Um, Alright, so we'll go from there, and I'll bring it to there. Boom. So it gradually goes down. Well, that is some of the finest engineering I've ever seen in my life right now. I mean, it goes over here quite high, but I suppose that's all part of the funsies. Right, okay, so let's get back off this. Let's get back to business. Right, we'll bring it by 50 outwards. And I'll do it there for now to kind of keep somewhat of the straightness. And if we pick this point and then run like this. Right. And do the same coming back. Now, obviously, we're going to delete back a bit. So we can create a bend. But then this will lead into here. And we're going to keep this elevated. I think mean, that's quite important. To keep it somewhat elevated. And then if we go from there to there. On the maximum. And then run from there to there. On the old maximum. Nice, and then obviously flip this one round. And we'll get the connection tool back up. So from there to there. There. 
There we go. And then there to there. There we go. So, with that now all in place, we'll do a nice little gradient in just a moment again. Oh, we got to flip this one around. My bad. Wait, hold on. I'm flipping the wrong one. <laughs> there we go. So actually, they can now start to use this. This is now technically functional, which is pretty sweet. So if we now go from here, and we'll just go one past the original bump up. There we go. There, down to here. So that's a nice smooth incline as they change levels. So in reality, I can now get that additional train line running around here. We have to take like a kind of a wide bend, but it's completely doable. So if I keep it on the right side, as it gets to down here, we can make it go under. And I want to kind of get rid of all of this here and here. And then bring it up and over as a trumpet there. And then slightly redirect some of it. Might be difficult, but <laughs> it should be fun either way. It should be fun. So will we start to see vehicles now using this? Uh, I don't know who the first vehicle would be and what direction it will now uh, proceed in. Um, but let's kind of figure out the trains. So I'm going to use the... I'm going to use the parallel tool. Now if I bring the train line into the equation... And if I use the parallel tool, and if we go from there, how long can I use it for? Bam. And I'm just going to take it to here. So to flip it on the other side, what do I need to do? Uh, tab to switch creation side. That's it. And then if I hold, is it hold shift? That brings it out by 10. Which that would be the reasonable size for me. And then we just kind of trim it. And I got these big train tracks now running parallel with us all. Oh, this is good. Look at that. That was just built with ease, wasn't it? That was too easy. <laughs> that was too easy, boys. And if I just get rid of this middle pillar. Delete that. Now the ship should be able to sail underneath pretty easy. I think they're still going to clip it. I don't think it's truly that deep. Let me see what this ship does right now. I think, I mean, it always clips from the backside there, but yeah, that's, I mean, I, I'm not going to moan about that. That's pretty fine. So there we go, by the way. There's actually now vehicles um, tooting down, which will mean less vehicles going through the city center area. So I wonder if these guys, if anyone lived here, would jump on the highway and go this way. Would it be quicker than going straight down there and down here? I don't know. I honestly do not know. But we just got to get this train line now figured out and connected. So, if I just quickly... Actually, I won't delete that just yet. Because it's going to... Well, I'm, you know what? I'm going to have to delete it either way, aren't I? So, yeah. Here's what it is. We'll go from there to... Hold on. There. Now, where do I want that bend to start? Maybe about here? Right, so, by 10's a bit much. Is that about right, you reckon? Um, right, I'll go to there. Hoping that's about right. I'll get out of the parallel mod. Yes, that's perfect. So that runs now down to here. So at this point here, where we'll continue the bridge. Um, yeah, it's because I've got to connect, get it connected to that. So that is going to run. Let's say, for example, if it was a straight line to about here. Right. 
So, I would want to connect... Let me see what a connection tool does first. Apart from going mental. I kind of want to like that without the loop. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, I reckon... With a little bit more of an extension of this... Let's add to it by... 10... That's about it, isn't it? That works. Right? Any other, any additional questioning? Now, I'm going to change it from that bit just there. So it all kind of matches. But that's how you want it, isn't it? Ooh, this is exciting. <laughs> this is exciting. So I'm now going to first get rid of... Of all the industrial zoning down here. That's now going to skedaddle out of here. And, I mean, I could also, to be honest with you, place down additional um, cargo hub. Uh, is, this, is this, yeah, train terminal things there. As an additional way to kind of get imports and exports. So if I placed, for example, one there. And I did another one, for example, just here. Now, what we'll do is we'll get rid of the road. Because we don't need the road anymore. <gasps> Pause. I deleted the freaking canal. He's only gone and deleted the freaking canal, boys. That's not good, is it? How deep is this, by the way? I don't really know. But there we go. We're back in business. <laughs> Alright, delete the road. Oh, I keep that bit of road in there. So that gives me two additional... Wait, why are they... How is the, re How is the zoning still here? So that allows me anyway... Like, anyway, I'm getting sidetracked again right now. To have... A train line... Run... Just behind it. Ooh, we've got to do something here though, don't we? Right, which will then up and over to connect into here. But I wonder if there's any kind of a leeway in terms of how I could get said connection. I mean, because I know I've got the harbour over here, which is exactly what I want. But to be honest with you, I could get rid of this harbour now. Because they'll utilise these instead. Because the ships could just kind of sail into here. And then the train does the rest of the work. Right, that's probably the way forward, isn't it? Yeah. So I'm so sorry. But you're now gone. I will still bring ships up and in. But once I've built this new train line system, we'll then place down the cargo areas. And we'll adapt them for the, the new system that we are now creating. So bring this down to about there. Because this is something else as well. we got to figure out. Because that's 21. So, 11. 11, 14. Actually, let me bring this out a bit more. 14, 7. Hold on. 2, 5. So, that there is a 16. Did I just build that again? I did, didn't I? So bring it out by a 16. Right. And then... 5. That's 21. So out by a 16. Uh, and then 5 is your 21. Which is enough for... If there's a train currently on the station... Being loaded or unloaded... The next train can kind of come in, and it's waiting just here. There's a, it's enough length for the train. It's not ideal, still. But it's a lot better than what it could have been. So elevate you for just a second, because we're going to have to elevate even higher anymore in a minute. So I bring that up to about a plus 10, and then over. And we'll sort all that, that uh, alignment out in just a moment. So, yeah, this here is a bit of, a, of an issue right now, isn't it? 
So if I do another 16 and obviously 21, I'm going to anarchy it through for just a minute. Five. All right, get that answer there just so I can kind of finish this off. 16, 5, and then we'll make that go into a tunnel and then pop up just there. So I'm, I'm just, I've just had to get it through for now because I'm going to have to elevate the road going over. So now then, we're going to bring this down by 20. And then we'll do a 10 by 10 by 10 by 10. Glorious. And then we'll bring this down to zero. Now, what I sh could do, just to make it, again, a little bit easier for us, if I went from there to there, oh, and did a plus 10, and then did it again there to there, and did a plus 10, I should now techni technically be able to grab can I undo that okay actually you know what technically it's not gonna work out but I can now do hopefully a little V so if I went there to there there to there all I'm now gonna have to do is make sure there's a node there there's a node here is to push these nodes in a bit and then we bow that out bow that out and now we've got a little bit of a better connection for a trumpet Okay. It's not going to be perfect because we technically are on a bend. And then we'll elevate this one for the connection in. But it should still work out none the least. So that's where your big your boy's big brain knowledge comes into to this right now. So I sort out this spinning round. There we go. We'll go from there to there. It's a short little bump, isn't it? I don't feel like that's going to be good enough. Oh, that's a bit better. Short up and over. we got the trumpet in for both directions. We just need to give this a little bit of power. So if I just go from there to there like that. Uh, uh, there to there. And I complain about the too few services because I've just removed all of their shipping options. But now that's going to give them exactly what they need. And it's on both sides. So technically they can now ship out. But I haven't really connected this side up just yet. So let's finish this up. And we'll go for the tunnel option. And we will then connect there. Oh, okay, maybe I can't connect it just yet. Have I got to tunnel this first? Right, that's now in. So the connection there. Well, that's not really going to work either, is it? Why is that doing that? What? what what's going on? <laughs> oh my goodness me. Right, that, that connects. That's fine. So, back to here. Down by a 10. And then we should be able to get that standardized connection. Connect it up. Simple like that. And then we're just going to sort out the big differences in the heights. So that sorts that one out there. I think this one's okay over here, isn't it? Yes. And then it's having a mental breakdown just here. There we go. And then we're up and running. Apart from this little section just there, we're good to go. Now these are screaming that there's too few services. <laughs> All because I got rid of their expectation section. But now, technically, we've now divided the two harbours. So the one on the left goes all the way up, continues, continues, trumpets there, 
goes in, especially for a stop there for this one, and, you know, we'll have other ones on anyway. And then the other one obviously does the right turn there and comes into here. Now, they are still connected because they can go around this way, but it makes sense to eventually have a connection coming down here between the two. So it's like a simple one if they want to go to a different harbour. Or, or if they're coming from a different ship to go in a different direction, we can have them crisscross pretty much here anyway. So like I said, it's not the end of the world. And it'll just add more additional connections. But it opens me up now. I can now start placing down in little hot spots, kind of import-export kind of sections. So let's have a fast forward then. Let's see if they can uh, sort themselves out and we can actually get trains going to where we want to go to. Oh, there's a train going through now, boys. Choo, choo. Oh, two trains, three trains. Four trains! Now, these are all got to be... No, five trains. These are all got to be spawned before they can go in the opposite direction, right? So off they now skedaddle. And I'm hoping we see a little bit more... Well, a little less vehicles now coming in and out because they can now all utilize the trains. So what we're waiting for now then is to see a train hit this kind of side up and then to choo-choo in and out. So I won't do the connection coming down this way yet because I don't know how I'm going to do sort this area out just yet. I'm not 100% sure. Oh, there we go. Two trains on their way. So these should now get start to get a little bit more busier. So they complain about not enough services. I mean, yeah, technically they don't have any healthcare. They have fire. Not enough fire is the answer. So I'm going to build another one just here. Policing. Okay, maybe we could do with a police station as well. I'm just going to throw these in just so they've got services. They don't have any healthcare. I built a small little medical clinic just there for the sake of it. So they've got services in that kind of aspect. So the complaint should slowly start decreasing. I wonder why all of a sudden, because I didn't have these buildings in before and they were like completely fine. So it's an interesting one, isn't it? So yeah, we should see trains now. Oh, is that a train? Oh, a train going in that direction. Oh, there's two trains. Yeah, we should start to see a few more ships now coming in based off the right hand side. So they navigate this fine, don't they? Yeah. It's a bit tricky, but it is what it is. Not so much this way, it's that way. Is the bit of a pain one. And they all navigate down here fine, don't they? Yeah, yeah, we're good. Come on, of course we are, guys. Come on, what do you expect? It's your boy building right now. It's your boy building. So let me just quickly sort out uh, this monstrosity then. So what we got to do is we've got to elevate this and this. And I'm going to take it all the way down. I might as well. And, okay, first what we'll do, we'll pick the node to be above. So we'll bring it to about... That's fine. And then we utilize the kind of angling leveling tool. So that would almost be pretty much on the same par. So from there down to here, there's a different gradient happening. There down to here, which is a little bit longer, so you got a bit more play with that. And that then sorts that all out. The, the vehicle's no longer clipping. <clears throat> great stuff. Great, 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 great stuff. And industrial air is no longer complaining as much. So do you reckon there's, le there's definitely less vehicles coming into the area? We can all agree on this. We can all agree on this. Now, the vehicles that are now exiting, where are they actually going? They're returning to a facility. So they're now going... Okay, they're driving out of the region. Well, at least that one is anyway. What about other ones? Um, okay, you're going to... Uh, oh, to there. So you probably start to see right now, it'll be areas in which we... You know, the, only, the quickest way to get there would be via vehicle. Not via train or anything like that. So, um, yeah, interesting. But there's definitely a lot less vehicles coming in and out. Because normally this junction here is always overloaded. It's gone very quiet. <laughs> it has, hasn't it? It's gone tremendously quiet now, that junction. Now, is that down to the two new export areas? Probably. Probably. 
uh could it be the fact that i got rid of so much industry that could also be the reason too because we have de-zoned a lot of it but um this is looking pretty good i like the longness on this which is pretty cool all the levels and angles are perfect i like the little bow that does there the train line's pretty good this is pretty good this little trumpet Everyone goes where they need to go and gets to where they need to get to. I think it works out fairly well. I think those are major improvements. Major improvements, boys. So, we can go back to focusing on what we do best, and that is flooding the city and building more canals. So we're going to end it here, guys. I hope you did enjoy this episode. If you did, smash that like button down below. And until next time, I'll see you all soon. So, good. <laughs>